Why, hello class. Welcome to our second lecture. This is the one you've all been waiting for. And I am titling this lecture, Five Steps to Find Your Husband. Now, these steps on the surface, you know, they look pretty straightforward, but there's a lot of in-between. So, I am going to go through them. Step by step. First step, socialize. Ladies, ladies, if you're hiding out in your room all day, you're not going to find your husband. Because let's face it, online dating sucks. And it doesn't work like 99.9% .9 of the time. <laughs> Good example, the Tinder swindler. Okay, that's, that's pretty straightforward. <laughs> so, uh, you socialize, right? Find a guy, right? So, what's the next step, logically? You tell him you like him. Yeah. Yeah, um, and I, I don't know if you can see here, but if it fails, go back to step one. <sighs> you know, I could say that for every step, but uh, specifically that one. Because if he doesn't like you back, ladies, just, just move on. All right? So, well, let's say that you saying that you like him is actually successful, right? So you start dating. You get to know each other, get to know the ins and outs, you know, family, you know, you know, there's just quite a process, you know? Um, yeah, so I haven't gotten past step three, just for the record. <laughs> um, so, you know, um, the process, um, step three, not gonna lie, it has a very variable timeline. Some people date for four months, they get engaged right away and they get married. Oh, that's, that's their story. But guess what? Some of us out there, well, we can't really do that. So, uh, you know, if I'm being totally honest, the, the, the dating process on average, let's be honest here, probably is going to take about a year. Yeah. A year, with, a year gives you enough time to get to know the person, you know, to know whether you want to marry them or not. Um, <laughs> so then... Step four, sorry, step four, oh, we love step four, getting engaged. Yep, I know a lot of people who've gotten engaged and planned their wedding. Yep. Um, usually the engagement is the shortest time period. Um, some people I've seen, they've been engaged for like a month or two and then they get married. Some people are engaged for like, a year or two, and then they got married. It just depends who you are. So again, very variable time period, but on average, I'd say for probably about six to eight months. Pretty reasonable. And uh, obviously, the last step, get married. That is the most important step, because if you're not married, Sorry, ladies, he ain't your husband. <laughs> but anyways, that's uh, that's our lecture for today. Sorry I was gone the last two weeks. Family stuff. Ah, tune in next week for a single person who's never been married and never had children telling you how to raise your children. <laughs>